question number 14 from motion in a plane dpp according to this question they have given what is magnitude of a1 bar magnitude of a2 bar magnitude of resultant of a1 bar and a2 bar and they want us to find out this value first by taking this condition i will find out what is the angle between a1 bar and a2 bar so it is given that mod a1 bar plus a2 bar is 3 which indicates square root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 2 into 2 into 3 into cos theta will be is equals to 3 according to the question. So if I square on both sides this is 9 plus 4 13 plus 4 3 is 12 cos theta is equals to 9 on squaring which indicates 12 cos theta is equals to minus 4 or cos theta is equals to minus 1 by 3 let us keep it like this we will use it in the dot product and given dot product is mod of a1 bar plus 2a2 bar dot 3a1 bar minus 4a2 bar so first i will do the dot product here first term will be 3 a one mod a1 that is a1 a1 square minus 4 into a1 bar dot a2 bar a1 bar dot a2 bar a2 bar dot a1 bar both are same only next term will be plus 6 a1 bar dot a2 bar minus 8 a2 square right so this total will be is equals to mod of 3 into a1 square plus 2 into a1 bar dot a2 bar which will be a1 into a2 into cos of angle between them which we have already calculated minus 8 a2 square so this will be is equals to modulus of 3 into a1 value is 2 so a1 square will be is equals to 4 plus 2 into a1 dot a2 a1 is 2 a2 is 3 into cos of angle between them is minus 1 by 3 minus 8 into 3 square will be 9 this will cancel out here so 4 3 into 4 will be 12 minus 4 minus 72 so this is 12 minus 76 modulus is there so this can be written as 64 which will be option A, right?